Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, we're going to learn how to insert context menu to a Qlist widget item. All right, so a context menu is basically a menu when you right click your mouse. So for example, if I select item in my list widget, you have a list of options I can select. And that's what known as the context menu. In this video, we're going to learn how to implement context menu in a Qlist widget. All right, so let me start by inserting my code snippet. From the importing statement, I'll insert the QMenu class. And these are the classes I'll be using. Oh, and this one more class I'll need, which is the QList widget class. And I'll need the horizontal box layout. And from the Qt core module, I'll insert the QEvent class. Now here's my code template. Inside my app class, I'm going to uh, start by creating my list widget. Oh, and here's my layout object. And I'll name the list widget self dot list widget. And I'll add three items to my list widget. And I'll add uh, three companies: so Facebook, Microsoft and uh, Google. Then I'll add the list widget to my layout object. Now let me take a look in here. Oh, I need to import the Qt class as well. All right, so here's my window. And let me uh, decrease the window size. So let me change the dimension to 800 by 600. All right. Now we have uh, three list widget items, Facebook, Microsoft, and Google. And if I right click my mouse, uh, nothing's going to happen. So we need to implement the context menu functionality. So I'm going to do here is I'm going to insert an event filter. And the event filter has uh, two parameters, source and event. So source will look at uh, the income scene or source. And event will basically detect whether the event that you are providing. Here I'm going to insert if condition. I'm going to say that if event type is equals to context menu, so by default, uh, when you right click a uh, list widget item, the event filter will automatically recognize that as a context menu event. You also need to uh, insert another condition. And if the uh, source is coming from a list widget, or list widget object in this case, I want to uh, implement this event filter to my list widget object first. And we can do that using the install event filter method. Now let's just test it out first. So I'm going to print the event and the source. Oh, and here I'm going to yeah, type here. And let me fix that right now. So from the event filter method, uh, the expect output should be true or false. So boolean value. So inside the loop, if the uh, conditions are met, I'm going to return two. Otherwise, I'm going to return the initial uh, state value. And it's going to be source and event. All right now, let's try again. So if I right click, and it's going to detect the signal as a context menu, and the source is coming from our list widget object. Here we have Q context menu event object. Now inside this if statement, we can now uh, implement any action or operation we want. So I'm simply just going to uh, create a menu item using the Q menu class. And from the Q menu class, I'll use the add action method to insert my uh, menu items. So name this action one, action two, and action three. 
Now at this point, if we launch the application and if we right click our mouse, and what's my uh, menu item? Let me see. Oh, I forgot to execute the menu. Help me. Insert the execution statement. Now if I select an item and right click my mouse, and notice that the menu is now launched at the top left hand corner, we need to fix the launching position. So here what we can do is we can use the event uh, argument dot global position method. Now I want to grab the associate item based on the global position. So here I'm going to say that if menu followed by execution and we'll insert the position corner. And I want to reference the uh, list widget item as an object. So what I can do is I will uh, take the source argument dot item add. We know the source argument is referencing the list widget. It's not referencing the individual list widget item. So here we need to insert the event argument dot position method. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply uh, print the list widget item text. So item dot text. And that's it. Now if I launch my application and right click, and this time my uh, menu position is located right next to my list widget item. And if I select a menu item, it's going to return Microsoft and this should return uh, Facebook. In the real world scenario, you replace uh, this if statement uh, with different methods that are linked to different actions. But I'm using this if statement just to show you how to uh, implement the cute context menu functionality. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this tutorial. And hopefully you guys found the videos for. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.